team is going to have lots of speed. Coming out here right now with his cheerleader is uh, Jerry the King Lawler and draped over his shoulder the AWA Southern Heavyweight Belt. You've got it. Yeah. Okay. It's not a stranger to you. We are the first to admit you've held it longer than anybody else has ever held it. In. Let me ask you one question. Yeah. Who's the greatest wrestler in the world and why am I? Well, you just answered your own question. Hey, I, you're yeah. smart there. Uh -huh. I got it. I told you where it would be back where it belongs, and it is. The rightful Southern Heavyweight Champion now has the belt. The people around here no longer have to hang their heads in shame when they talk about wrestling. They don't have to, they don't have to realize that Dundee is the champion. They don't have to go out and tell anybody, yeah, I'm ashamed of it, but that little sawed-off run has the belt because now somebody that they can look up to, somebody that they can be proud of, somebody that all them little punk kids out there can want to grow up and be like is the champion. The king of them all, right here it is, baby. The greatest wrestler that ever lived and ever will step into a ring. You're looking at him, and I am the champion. You but are. As you can tell. Now, wait a minute. We were having a good little conversation until you interrupted. Just stand there and be quiet. Now, let me say this. As you can tell, I'm not completely happy today. Although I should be regaining the belt that is rightfully mine, but I'm not completely happy because last week, you see, a little dirty, sneaky, underhanded, snake-in-the-grass trick was pulled on the king. And I'm not going to take the time to explain it to everybody, but most of the people realize that I wrestled Thomas Marlin last week blindfolded, right? Or let me say this, I agreed to wrestle Thomas Marlin blindfolded. I went out to the ring in good faith. I let him put that blindfold on my head, risking life and limb. And what happened? I don't need to tell you, you just show the film of what happened because I want the people out there to see this Dundee for what he really is, the low-life coward with that big yellow streak down his back that he is. I want you to just roll that film. Because of the fact we we're trying to get our six-man tag match in, we have cut down on the amount of tape that we have and we do not have that tape today. We don't have the tape of the of the blindfold match because we've got a great expiration of time match. You don't up. have the tape of the no. blindfold match. No, we just don't have it on, you know. Oh, we just we just don't have it. That's nice sure. and convenient that you just don't have it, ain't it? Okay. Uh, okay, you know, you want me to tell you why you just don't have it? I'll tell you why. Because Dundee obviously got here to the television studio before I did. That's why you don't have it. He went up there. He went up there in that room and he obviously took that film and destroyed it. That's why you don't have it. You want me to tell you why? I'll tell all you idiots out there why he took it and destroyed it. Because it shows you Dundee's true colors. It shows you how a big coward Dundee is. It shows that big yellow streak down his back. I'll tell you what he did. When I put that blindfold on my head, old Thomas Marlin knew he didn't have a chance, so he motioned back to that dressing room. He said, come on, Dundee. Come and get him, Dundee. They put a blindfold over Jimmy's head where he couldn't tell me what was going on, and Bill Dundee jumped in that ring with me blindfolded and attacked me and proceeded to knock me down, beat me about my head and face, and then pinned me. Now, yeah, you're shaking your head because you were there and you saw it. Am I telling the truth? I am telling you the gospel, baby. That shows you what kind of coward Bill Dundee is. Let me tell you something. That ain't going to happen again, Dundee, because I'm going to take care of you this week, baby. I'm going to beat the life out of you. This is going to be the last time you ever want to challenge for this belt. Now, he thinks he's got a little trick up his sleeve this week, doesn't he? Did you see how I just disposed of this guy right here, the Steve Regal? Sure did. Well, that's going to be a piece of cake compared to what I'm going to do to Dundee. I'm going to slaughter him. Dundee thinks he's got it all worked out. You know, he's spending a lot of time over at Jerry Jarrett's house now. He's trying to get in real good with him because he, he wants Jarrett to do him all these little favors like putting Jimmy Hart in a cage. Did you hear what I said out there, you idiots? They're going to put Jimmy Hart in a cage. Come here, Jimmy. Come here, handsome Jimmy. Look at this man. Do you own a tuxedo? No. This man wears tuxedos to the ring. Does Dundee own a tuxedo? No. This man wears vests to the ring. This man is a this man is a first-class individual. He has sold about 17 million records in his day. He is one of the biggest recording stars that's ever lived. And they want to put him in a cage? Just 
We got our priorities mixed up a little bit around here. People like Dundee belong in a cage. He's an animal. He's a goof. He's an idiot. He should be behind locked doors, not a perfect gentleman like this. Well, let me just say this. Dundee, it ain't gonna work for you, buddy. You're gonna get your brains beat out. It's gonna be the last shot you ever get at this belt. And this man is not getting in no cage, and that's all we gotta say about it. Come on. Well, that's fine.